Hey everybody, 1223 here with a large lantern update. Uh, I have three lamps to show you and then a compare and a comparison uh, portion of the video that I will also get to that deals with them. But I'll start with this with this uh, interesting one over here on the right. Right, left. This is a Dietz number 39 steel clad Vulcan railroad railroad lamp it is uh my second dead flame lamp it is unrestored that is original condition right there that is not restored uh it's in really really good shape for some of these vulcans that i've seen and uh the steel clad is is, is the later version i mean and it's uh sort of heavy for a lamp because it's made out of steel probably galvanized steel to stop it from deteriorating really quick but it also has the original number 39 Vulcan globe I don't know if you can tell with the latch there but I'll get into that one uh, on the top here it says Dietz number 39 steel clad New York USA and it also says Dietz and Vulcan on the other side there's really not much uh, just a little, the globe's pretty much blank, but I'll get to the insides of this one here. Uh, alright, I guess we can get, now these ones took me a little while to figure out how they open. Because I have, because this is my first railroad lamp, but, set the handle down because I never want to stay up. Uh, this is the handle right here, you just push up and then... <clears throat> It's, it latches real good. Push up, and then the pop, and then the top just pops off. So you can see the insides of this lamp is really good. Chimney is real clean. Doesn't look like it's been burned. Uh, this is the globe. The globe is actually heavy for a globe. Uh, it says Vulcan on there and Dietz. It's an all red globe. There's nothing, no chips, no cracks, no nothing of that nature. Uh, now these ones fill interestingly. This is my first and only lamp right now that has this style. But here's how the this is the tank here. This little uh, this little thing here. Can't remember what these are called. But uh, the burner is a Dietz convex burner. You can see there. It uh, turns very nice. No problems with it. There's a inside wick raised version and an outside wick raised version of the Vulcan, the steel clad, and I had the outside version, which is the more common. Uh, and how you fill these things is pretty much this. These burners found, they, they twist off just like a bottle cap would. Now, this is all original burn tank and everything. That's that looks like the original wick because of how just the discoloration of it. But this here's the inside of that and the light, which is actually letting me see in there a little bit. You can see that the tank is very clean, but very un, kind of different and unusual at least for right now. But uh, who knows? I'm going to start getting into the dead flame and hot blast category more because a lot of my lamps I have are cold blast. And uh, I just need to get into that spectrum a little bit. There we go. Just put this thing back together. Pop the fuel tank down here into the bottom. And whatever. Oh, come on. There we go. This sits right there in that little lip. Just to ensure that it does not move. And then... Uh, Pop the globe back in. The globes are kind of hard to find too. Uh, and it depends on which color. The red ones are somewhat hard. I've never, I have never seen anything other than a red and clear one. But I'm sure that knowing a railroad, I'm sure there's definitely blues, greens, and embers out there. But they're just really, really rare. But uh, a very neat lamp. I got it for only 40 bucks, which is really, which is a, de a steel in this condition. Usually ones like this will go close to $100.
But for some reason right now, nobody is buying any lamps on eBay. So, uh, that also means too that the, that what I'm going to be showing you that's covered up, we also got for a steal too. And this, and this next one here I'm going to show you too is also in very, very good shape. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get to this one now. This is a Dietz number 100 cold blast lamp. And is in an original unrestored condition. It's in amazingly good shape. A lot of these lanterns were used by contractors and companies and places where they usually were worked, and uh, they usually just got beat up bad. So you do not find a lot of them there in this good shape and all original. Now, really, the only thing that gives it away is that the wires are bent and they do have some uh, tarnishing on them, but. It is a streamlined lamp. There it is a unstreamlined version that is somewhat harder to find. Uh, you can see it says number 100 there on the tank. The top is not marked, which is sort of different. But this lamp uh, says, the only really indication of it says Dietz, and then New York, USA right there. Also says so on the cap. The lit mechanism is different. The other ones are usually horizontal. This one is vertical. And uh, this globe is most likely the original globe and has to be because it is unmarked. It is an unmarked Corning globe. That's what that's who made the made the Dietz globes was a company called Corning. And I'll take this thing apart too and I'll show you the insides of this. Now this one here squeaks really bad. So as you can see, you can tell it's original because it's unpainted here. That's original blue paint there, original blue Dietz paint. Uh, the globe is in, is in good shape, no problems with that. You can see there, you can tell the wires have been on at one time, there's some little marks right there. But uh, it is cleaned and it's just, all this is just from the metal touching all the time. Oh, I also forgot to point out too, this lamp was made for a very special customer. Even though that they're somewhat common, but in the worst shape. If you notice on here, it says City of L.A. for Los Angeles. So, kind, kind of different. It's my first lamp made for a city. The only one, well, actually my second one. Cold blast lamps, are if they're made for something, are identified usually on this portion. I don't know what it's called. When, if you know with my Monarch downstairs, the hot blast ones are identified by the uh, raising and lowering plat on the movable portion of the top that holds the globe in place. Now, the, this lamp's origins actually come from two lamps that I do not yet have, but will eventually acquire as time goes on. This style lamp, the size of this lamp actually comes from that of the stream of the Little Giant, which uh, was produced up towards the end of the streamlined era. In fact, it actually has three lamps that go into it. The tank is an air is a Dietz Air Pilot size tank, so it has the same amount of hours of burn time. Now, the burner, it's made with the three eighths inch burner, which if you notice on there. Uh, might have to turn it, but that is a, I'll get to it, that is a Dietz Comet burner end cap that is in there. Now that is, that is original, there is nothing wrong with that, but, uh, that's, but that's one of the qualities too, is that they were made with a 3 8 inch burner. Now this burner is also an original, and it, and its cone is in real nice shape. You can tell that it's been burned very lightly, just by the inside here, but it says on the outside, because the other one I couldn't tell, as was, the comment I couldn't tell is so rusty, but it says Dietz Comet Burner uh, made in the United States, U.S. of America, United States of America. The burner is also original and is, is a typical rising cone burner, but it works really well. Now, I don't know if that wick is original or not, but it's falling apart, as you can see. I've already had to take off a bunch of it that was real stringy. But the inside of the tank is very good. Uh, come on. Inside the tank is very good too. Can't see that, but it's a very shiny tank inside of there. So this lamp was 
probably not in service very long by by the city of LA before it was retired. But uh ah, just about lost my camera there. Uh I mean it's just a nice lamp. You do not find 100s, 100s, 110s, rare 110s, um, night watches, traffic guards, and a bunch of other ones. You just can't find them in this good shape. In fact, what happened is just, I think it was maybe a week ago, me and my dad were watching and he placed a bid on a Dietz night watch that was in complete original condition. All the paint, all the original paint was intact. There was nothing wrong with it. And uh, the bid, somebody finally bid on it. The first bid was up to, oh, I think it was like 53 bucks, which is real high for a for one of those lamps. And uh, in the last 10 seconds, it shot up to, oh, I think it had to have been like 170 bucks or something. But it was ridiculous how high it shot up, especially considering how common that lamp is. But none of them are in good shape. So if you find some of these ones that are usually workhorses, that were usually worked real hard, and they're in good shape, they can be good shape, good original shape. They can usually be worth a lot of money. Now, you probably have been wondering what is hiding underneath this. Well, I will show you here. Have I moved these two out of the way? Because they are done. Uh, I only got about four minutes to show this. I'm running out of time here. Uh, for the unveiling. That is a Dietz Comet box. That is intact. And it is original box. No repros. But it's what's in the box that I want to also show you too. Not only does it have, not only is there a box, but it comes with the original lamp that came with that box. And that lamp is in, oh, is in amazing condition, pristine condition. Doesn't even look like it's ever been burnt. Uh, I'll go over the box here first. It says here on the top, on this side, a practical Dietz lantern at the price of a toy. Dietz Comet Lantern. A welcome gift for every occasion. The instructions. To fill, remove the fount cap, pour up to one half pint of a good of a good grade kerosene. Now keep in mind, this was made back in the 40s or something. To light, you depress the lever at the right of globe until it locks and notch. Sure the wick is set low. The wheel turned to the left lowers the wick. Then you ignite the wick and slowly release lever, the lever to lower the globe. To clean the globe, you put the handle in upright position. And you lift the ring on top of the lamp and tilt the globe back. If the wick needs trimming, cut straight across. Lantern burns best with full supply of kerosene and fount, or the tank. It will burn dry to the last drop. Be sure in advance that you have enough oil and the comet will never, never fail you. Burns 12 to 15 hours. It's bright as four candle power. Equipped with a strong glass globe and it was only made with a clear globe. No colors. It's baked fire engine red paint for safety and visibility. And it has a strong coated steel frame. Same thing over here on this side. And this one here, we had to do some repair because a chunk of the box came off. But it says, for boys, girls, and grown-ups, use it in the country, use it in the city, use it in the country, use it anywhere. For camping, for picnics, backyard fun and parties, for biking or hiking. For boats, cabin or trailer, motoring, fishing, and hunting. For gardening after dark chores or just for walking home in the dark. For emergency use, the Dietz Common Lantern gives dependable portable light when current fails. Keep it in home, store, factory, office, or garage ready for instant use. Useful for the year year round. Stays lit in wind, rain, sleet, or snow. Manufactured by R.E. Dietz Company, Syracuse, New York. And that's the box. The lamp is pretty much identical to the to the one that I had. It's just that it's in mint condition, as you can tell. That's all original paint. None of it's flaking off anywhere. It has an H8 globe instead of an H5. I really don't know what the difference is. The letters look crisper. Everything like that. But uh, looks like I'm going to have to make a part two for this. So uh, stick around for part two. And I'll go over a comparison with this one and my other one. And I will also take that one apart to show you. And the other one will also get taken apart again. Stay tuned for part two.